up YouTube this is uh, Tyler from Elite Snake Projects and I took your guys advice I just finished candling all the eggs and you know I've watched a lot of candling videos before this to make sure I knew what I was doing and you know what like I'm so like on the border right now I don't know there's like three I'd say out of the ten eggs look nice and red and veiny they look very well like they just look like a good egg and others are a little bit I wouldn't say yellow because I know yellow is really bad but they're just a lot lighter red and there's just very small veins throughout the bottom of them now I don't know if that's because of when I first incubated them it was too moist and they didn't grow as quickly as some other parts of the eggs but also that's another thing when I watch videos and you see infertile eggs they are twice as small and they just look so dark and these all these eggs in here were perfect white and big and healthy when I first uh, when I first hatched or when they first gave birth the female first gave birth so you see a little bit yellowing right there and stuff but I just think they were too moist. I think they might be okay. You know, a lot of you said to candle them, and then from there, you'll know within about a week if they're going to survive or not. I could tell maybe a couple of them who won't survive just because they did get too wet. And that's just completely rookie mistake on my part. So, I've absolutely learned a lot from this clutch, and uh, when my... I'd say more expensive, better uh, ball pythons finally breed, you know. I'm kind of happy, you know, that I'm not saying it was just a Walma because they're awesome snakes, but, you know, it wasn't a very high-end ball python that I might be breeding later on. So, you live and you learn, and I want to thank everyone out there who gave me the advice. And I still think some of them may hatch. I'm really trying to push my luck here and really hoping they will because you know it's my first clutch and it'd be awesome to finally produce some snakes some pythons actually some eggs I've actually incubated so from here on out I'll keep you guys posted and wish me luck thanks for watching